What's up, man? Child, welcome back to Souls a Special and St. Paul's. <laughs> welcome back to the Souls Special. I hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're streaming well so far. This is a moment in time reading. Um, sun, moon, rising on the cusp. I want to thank all of my viewers. Thank you so much for um, stepping into the platform and checking out the forecast from the last post. And because of that, you have several by seven decks I'm going to work with, okay, due to that. Um, I want to thank all of my newest subscribers as well as those who view the channel, whether it's every time or from time to time. I'm very appreciative, okay? So let's get started, men, child, and centaurs on this moment in time reading. Um, I'm glad to be here. Hope you are too, okay? Yes. God is doing some wonderful things, okay? Yes, he's uh, lifting a lot of negative energies, okay? But uh, a lot of interchanges, I'm feeling like, are happening. Okay, so we have an oracle message of 60. 60. That is. What a small thing. 60. I can't recall it. Don't like me. Okay. Limitations. Okay. Let me read that. Matter of fact, let me read it. Limitations. Okay. Um, water above and below is the lake. The lake is defined by its limitations. It is contained and finite in its dimensions. Water above the lake is limitless as rain may continue to fall long after the lake's boundaries have flooded over. Kindness depends on respecting the limitations of others and not assuming they can handle whatever one pours forth. Civilization depends on respecting the limits of propriety and social mores. Proceed with care. Oh, okay. So this may have to deal with things you do, attitude, uh, respecting boundaries, okay, uh, societal or cultural norms as well, okay. Uh, yeah, that reminds me of, uh, for instance, your limitations. So... Um, I went to Bermuda and um, they have this cultural standard where women don't wear shorts, you know, the shorts. But when we went to the party, I had on shorts. And somebody got really, really upset with me. One of the professors got really, really upset with me because it was... Um, against their cultural and societal norms, okay? You know, people have ideas about stuff. So, uh, the, the idea is to respect the culture wherever you go. So, limitations. Now, this could be applying to your work, even in your love life, you know. Maybe, say for instance, you a work from home dad, you know, and whatever type of work you do, whatever field you in, it requires a quiet room and so the children have to know their boundaries you know how far they can go before they're crossing the line over into what's actually earning a salary for the family right so uh, limitations this may even be dealing with speech you it, this could be limiting the amount of hours maybe some of you are overworking Things. Let's get some questions. Maybe it'll help us with this uh, limitations. Things. Okay. Limiting your thinking. You know, not going outside of your thinking. I Like today, like for instance, I was like, okay, I happen to think the worst before I think the best. So I'm going to have to start limiting that uh, type of thinking. And instead of thinking the worst thing is going on because something isn't happening when I think it should. I should think, you know, before I think 
something is wrong or going bad, let me do this or let me just pull back for a minute and think a different way, okay? I'm just coming up with all different scenarios that may help us along the way with this forecast. So the question right now, this moment of time, ooh, it was already turned. Things that you will never get away with. Hmm. I don't know what you're thinking about right now. You might be like, hmm. I'll never get away with that. So you may have to limit that. <laughs> two, two, two just popped up on before you hear that. <laughs> Say, Terrence, what you up to? Now yeah, behave. All right. Yeah, that's what's going on. Limitations. Things that you will never, you will never get away with. You better limit that behavior, that adult, that way of thinking. You know, I know you know for being a jokester too, trickster. Okay. So you might not want to do that, think you're going to get away with that, okay? You're thinking about setting somebody up, but you're going to fall in that trap. You better think about that. So whatever it is that that desire is, you better hone in. I don't know who I'm talking to today. You kind of seem to be all over the place. What are we dealing with, Source? We're dealing with an umpire. Oh. Do some of y'all play baseball? Um, yeah, is it baseball? Not an empire, an umpire. This is the one who calls the shots. This could be you, because I know oftentimes you are in leadership positions. Umpire. Somebody calls the shots. And it's about boundaries, not crossing. When I think about baseball, you know, there are boundaries here. Limitations. Rules. Somebody's turning around. So it should really be in the um, something that you're thinking about. Yeah, she has it in the, Remember I told y'all how my deck is one way we have the fishes was up what you need to learn what you need to major in if it's this way the bubbles in your head is something you need to think about you know you need to contemplate you need to think about then i said you need to think about that action i feel like this is you sagittarius it seems so directed i'm feeling it in my in my belly i really believe this is you okay let's get you a um Reference word. Let's see what it says. I don't know if you're thinking about what you can get away with, but you know you ain't gonna get away with that. I think you're trying to find how you can get around it. You're not, res you're not respecting the boundaries or something, or you're not respecting what you can and cannot do. Quickly call. Oh, what's wrong with my screen? So much blur. Quickly called, quickly called, quickly called. I don't know what that is. Like the umpire calling the shots, seeing what is right and what is not. Okay, now, so for those of you who are in leadership positions, whether you're a parent, whether you're at the job, whether you run a business or whatnot, you're calling the shots quickly, seeing what can and can't be done or how much can be used, how much can be taken, how much can, how much you can't. Let me go back to that. 60. The lake is defined by its limitations. It is contained and finite in its dimensions. Water above the lake is limitless, as rain may continue to fall long after the lake's boundaries have flooded over. Kindness depends on respecting the limitations of others and not assuming they can handle whatever one pours forth. Like this could be things like joking, taking things too far, you know, or, you know, even like say for instance, someone is put in charge and you don't want them to abuse their authority, you know, because that's power. I feel like somebody is quickly calling something out. You or them. I don't know. Now I feel like this could go either way. 
you got the tattoo tarot right now. So get ready to paint the picture. So I'm gonna do this. Get this stuff over here out of my way. Okay. So for others of you, I'm hearing also and a, 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 a tack. Okay, tack. Um She's saying something about a, a, a style, a way of calling the shots, of setting limitations with people, boundaries, and so forth. Maybe not even going over the top, setting a limit as to, like, like I said, it's how much you say, even if it's a disciplinary situation. Y'all being so serious. Y'all so serious. Ooh, they so... What the Kanye West said? Ooh, they so sassy. Okay, let's go. What's going on for Sages? Sagittarius, please do not forget to support the channel if you haven't already. Like uh, Nino Brown says, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Also, if this is your first time visiting So Special, please go ahead and join the channel. All right? It doesn't cost anything. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What's going on, Source? Also, Source, can I get a conflict card and a supportive energy card? Okay, so what are we looking at? Ten of Cups overall is the energy for this moment in time. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to clean my screen or maybe this light is too bright. We have the fool is your core energy. This could be you. I normally see this as Sagittarian energy. Okay. We have the lover's card as the expectation energy here. We have the nine of cups. We have the four of wands. Okay. And then we have the tower and we have strength. What's going on underneath? Okay. This is like... I'm getting landing, but I'm also getting returning. It seems a little bit troublesome here on the home front, whether it's just your work or a bad area. Uh, I'm also here like a bad area in terms of like um, together you know like when like when think like flooded areas and things like that so this could be actually dealing with the geographical area where there's probably some problems from flooding I don't know where that's coming from it's like a revisit revisiting I don't know if you lost some things maybe you're going back to see what you can recover So either you've landed in a new spot, like you've left a bad place, and you've now landed in the new place, or you are revisiting this place, this place that really um, affected your mental, you know, because the conflict here is the tower, something very surprising, something that threw you off guard, I don't know what it is, uh, could have been danger, some explanation that was said. For some of you, it's somebody new or somebody unexpected pops up. You got quickly called here. They may be calling you out of nowhere unexpectedly. You know this person or this is you showing up by surprise. Because there's been some trouble in the area somewhere. Okay, it's true because here's the lover's card for some of you. Okay, for some of you, this could be a lover. For some of you, this could be a relative. Okay, a friend of the past. She's hitting this Ten of Cups, and see, I see that this Ten of Cups right here got a couple in there. Look, look, you know, people together coming together, you know, building a relationship. 
Okay, because the Ten of Cups is about um, literally families. And oftentimes these are families that are well to do. So you may be working with people who are considered well to do. You know what I'm saying? Like they make good money, you know, they buying homes and stuff. They drive nice cars or maybe they don't, you know, because they busy doing, you know, purchasing a home and maybe building a business. So they may not drive a car as fancy as they would, you know, could afford, but because of their money management, you know, uh, they may, you know, kind of downplay some things because they got things going on, you know, progressing in life. But nonetheless, you have this um, home purchasing, home buyers. Some of you may be lucky up on that and you're going to call them quickly. Once you see it, you're like, oh, psh, I need to call them now to see if this is still available. Some of you, you're going to bump into this person at a restaurant, okay? I don't know if you work at this restaurant. Uh, I mean, it could even be some type of event. It could be the, the employee canteen or cafeteria, I'm hearing. Can I get you some... What's going on with this nine of cups and the fool? Because the fool is ground level, zero level, starting fresh, starting on your own. You know, um, you know, this is something when when it comes to the fool, they just feel within themselves this is what they need to do for them. And they like jumping on an opportunity, okay? Because there very well could be an opportunity going on here. But where that things that you would never get away with is where that applies in this in this forecast at this moment, at this ju juncture of the forecast, I don't know. Hard work, daytime, first shift. Hey, happy labors are here. You don't mind the hard work because, you know, you meet a lot of nice people Okay, um, a lot of positive energies here. Okay. This seems like um, also building, like I said, building your enterprise, building a home, whatever it is. That makes you happy. You, you, you're building something that makes you happy or you're moving somewhere that will make you happy. It's a lot of sunshine there, rainbows. You know what I'm saying? Like, for some of you, that is like a promise fulfilled. I don't know if somebody, you know, prophesied that to you, if you dreamt about it. You know, you just believed God was going to do this for you in your soul, you know, prophecy fulfilled, Okay. But the challenge is this shock, and I really feel like it's got something to do with this divine connection. Now, for some of you, you met them at a restaurant, at your job, wherever you work. Uh, it's something about a lot of windows. Okay, something about a lot of windows. Um, get this bill stuff for people. I don't know if you get getting a home built from the ground up or it's getting reconstructed. But this meeting is very, very uh, <laughs> uh, or this neighborhood. This could definitely represent a neighborhood that maybe someone told you about. I feel like some of you lucked up on something or somebody by surprise, but it's a conflict because 
or a contention. It could be a contention or a challenge. Okay, because you got to get the money. Even though there's no pentacles here, you still got to get the money. You got to have money to build. You got to have time to build. You got to have ideas to build, right? I don't know where you're going with this. But I know that the blessing in all of this, we have the strength card, is... Control. Self-control. Being prayerful. And maybe you need to pray for self-control. Drawing boundaries as well. Okay, we talked about that in your oracle. Drawing boundaries. You know what I'm saying? But doing it in a way that is very graceful. Very mild. With class, you know, with sophistication, with cool, you know, with cool. You're going to be cool in this environment. You're going to feel at home in this environment, okay? It's nothing to fear, you know. People respect each other's boundaries. You're not in their house, they're not in yours. You're not on their property, they're not in yours. But it doesn't mean you don't speak and say, hey, how you doing? Or if you need some help that they won't be there but you know but you're in a place and space where there are boundaries respected okay and then I see this outcome here where there is um, a get together here maybe you're going out for drinks you know what I'm saying uh, some some of you this look like health drinks you know like smoothies and so forth ice cream drinks This is an accepting an invitation, okay? Because like I said, for some of you, this is going to dinner. Some of you, this is about a house. You may be meeting up at a restaurant. Some of you, you may have met somebody online, okay? Um, but I feel like you're finding property or you're finding something by shock. Or you are connecting with somebody that you didn't know that you would ever see again. Or you thought it was over or... This may be about property lines as well. Who calls the shots? Who's saying what's in and what's not in? You know, what's tolerated, what's not tolerated? So if I would like to know just for myself, I have to know what is this tower based on this? I really believe... This is a connection. But for some of you, I really believe this is somebody you already know. And maybe you didn't think you would ever see them again, you know. Now, I'm getting two things here. There's somebody waiting to see if you will return. There's somebody waiting to somehow to see if you will fail. Because hmm. this is all about fate. Because it's almost like they're waiting to see if you will return to them. Because this is whatever it is, whoever's waiting for the return, your good fortune for them. You are payoff for them. You are their, at least they believe, well, it is, you, you are their faith. They know it. Whoever is in these cards, they know it. Then I say that in the beginning, I don't know if somebody already prophesied to you, if you had a dream. 
whatever it is, this part, this is the shock. Maybe this is you. You've been waiting. You knew they was coming back. I don't know. This is somewhere over the place. What is going on with y'all? It still comes by surprise. There's a joining here. There's a joining here. Okay? There's a joining here. For some of you, this is... Um, an open house. Who says what's in, what's out? Maybe that's your attitude about maybe where you're gonna live. You know what what will will what what will work what won't work. You're the umpire, right? On this property, in these, in this house, at this job, you're in charge. You're in charge. Oh, this time next year popped out. You saw it. Let me see what's on the line in there. Okay, it's uh, in reverse though. Uh, do. Oh, Sage, this is a message for you. Do the right thing. It will gratify some people and astonish the rest. Mark Twain. However, it was in reverse. And remember, we said here, things that you will never get away with. You thinking about that. I don't know if it's cheating. Maybe it's just in this lover because, you know, in the lover's card, that uh, oftentimes there's infidelity in the lover's card. You would never get away with it. You know, that will have started some, especially the bros, you know, the brothers, the bros, whatever you classify yourself, the men, you know, like, man, you didn't. You did the right thing. You stuck with your partner. You didn't break your marital vows. You didn't do that. That astonished some, some people. Okay? Man, you didn't tap that. It would gratify some. I guess it would gratify the ones who have integrity and the ones that are astonished to be like, <laughs> maybe they just have a weaker spirit. <laughs> okay? Okay? Somewhere new or a return to a place where there was once trouble and issues. I don't know if this is your job or a um, place where you live or property. I see a duplex here for some of you. I see a duplex. Okay. There definitely was some problems, some tension, some... Um, Actually, a lot of this came out of sexuality, sensuality. I got it here in the lovers. I got it here in the strength card. A lot of sensuality here. Which things that you would never get away with, okay? The sexual in interests and issues on the job. You know, you better be careful, especially if you're in leadership positions. Don't think this shit won't catch up with you. I'm watching the mighty fall. I'm watching the mighty fall, and you are too. Let's get you a written word. You know, you never know when karma going to catch up with you. You know, think about Bill Cosby and what uh, Weinstein and all of them, Harvey Weinstein and all of them, they've been doing that for years, 20, 30 years. They never thought. They never thought. They never saw it coming. So know that the old eye can see everywhere. So whatever this is, Sagittarius, Centaurs and man child, that man child is poking out. Be careful. Because just like the breast said, <laughs> you got to be careful with the choices that you make, the decisions that you make, because they can be with you for the rest of your life. Okay? And the only decisions we want with us for the rest of our life is how we made that money. <laughs> if I choose you, it won't be because you look good to me physically. It will be because you feel good to me spiritually. And that's Kevin Gates. I told you somebody is meeting somebody here. 
But I feel like for some of you, it's some type of reconnection. Maybe they're waiting. Either this is you or someone. They know you're coming. But it still comes by surprise, by shock, how it's done. I told you when it's the angels involved, when heaven's involved, we got to be on their time. They're not on our time. And somebody ain't about to jimmy down. It may be about this property <laughs> or maybe about your salary or your wages in this moment in time. I don't know. And I don't know why this fell out, but it said, you cannot convince me that you love me and disrespect me. Something happened in the past. Now, I felt that. That's why they know you. They know you coming back. Somebody knows somebody coming back. I don't know if it's even with the job, but <laughs> you cannot convince me that you love me and disrespect me. Those are my words. What's your affirmation? Today, I will look ahead. Today, I will see my future. It is a beautiful life I'm looking forward to. And maybe it is in this Ten of Cups. Some of you starting with a new partner, okay? In a relationship. All right, but um, I'm also getting chastity here. Ch chase being chase. You know, uh, checking your... Um, like your sexual appetite needs to be checked. And that's going to be um, a great support and a great blessing to you too. Because obviously the feminine or the masculine is looking for a particular type of person. You know, I don't think they want to be with somebody that's laying up with everybody. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it right here, Centaurs and Manchild. And thank you once again for tuning in to So Special. Because you are so special. And also... um. If you feel that this station, which I know it is, is a benefit to you, is helping you elevate, you know, you enjoy the forecast and you would like to sow a love seed, please check the description box and the information is below. And thank you in advance and I'll see you later.